fried eggs over easy pickled asparagus just because I'm feeling like pickled asparagus lately and if you haven't tried pickled asparagus it's the best. Hi Becca. Did you eat all your sausage? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. You did? Mm -hmm. Good job. Yesterday was our first full day back from Florida and I woke up to poop on the rug and the washing machine broke it. And I was gonna call somebody out to fix the washing machine, but then I thought, you know what? I think I can do this. By God, I did. I fixed that washing machine all by myself. <coughs> Took me two hours. It was a washcloth stuck in the filter. That's right, it sure was. And there was a washcloth. I don't know how that got stuck in the filter, but anyways, it was pouring water everywhere. So that was a nice little welcome home present. Tell everybody who got you this, I don't even know what this is. This Noodle? Yeah. Who got you that? Um, Miss Rachel. Miss Rachel. Two crazy kids gave me this. <laughs> it's so strange, look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm freezing because it's 100 degrees outside. The AC runs 24-7. I go outside, I'm sweating. I'm inside, I'm freezing. Whatever. I'm fixing myself my Keterade. Got a glass of ice. Raw and flavored element electrolytes. These are just electrolytes. There's nothing else in these. There's no sweetener. There's no citric acid. It's just electrolytes. They use magnesium malate for those of you who are like, which magnesium do I use? This is the one that I'm using currently is the malate. There's magnesium citrate. There's like three magnesiums. This one is the malate. So it's just salt, magnesium, and potassium. And these are just salty. So there's a thousand milligrams of salt in here. That works for me. If you're not into the unflavored, they have many amazing flavors. My personal favorite of the flavored are the orange and the watermelon. I'm just kind of off sweet stuff right now, so I'm sticking to the unflavored. I also put some apple cider vinegar in here if I can find it. The Bragg's apple cider vinegar with my electrolytes, the one with the mother. And I just pour, I don't know, about an ounce in there. And then I add water, use whatever water you like. If you like flat water, use flat water. I use the sparkling water because it gives it that like kombucha type feel. Pour slowly. Sometimes the sparkling water can really, like it's fizzy already, but with electrolytes it can fizz a little more. I love these electrolytes. I drink them every day. They're our soft drink, basically. Instead of drinking diet sodas, we drink sparkling water and electrolytes. You can also put sweetener in here if you want to and that gives it more of a kombucha because most kombucha is sweet. But I've backed off of all sweetener. Not for any other reason than I just don't want it right now. So I don't put any stevia in my Keterade currently, but you definitely can. As usual, Element will send you a free sample pack of eight different flavors, including the raw and flavored if you want to try it with any purchase. If you go to the link on the screen, it's also in the description. DrinkElement.com slash Nisha, and they will hook you up. Okay, so I ate breakfast at 9.30 today, which is a little early for me. I woke up hungry. I ate three eggs, and I had some asparagus. I just am craving pickled asparagus. 
It's very strange. I don't even like asparagus unless it's pickled, but for, I don't know. It beats me. I don't know what I'm going to do for lunch, but I have an interview at one o'clock. It's 12:15, So my interview is at one. I'm not going to eat right now. I'm thinking I'm going to do meatballs. Like I'm on a meatball kick because at Disney World we ate Swedish meatballs at the princess lunch. If you didn't watch that video, it's just cute. We went to Epcot and we ate it with the princesses and the food was actually really, really good. And they had Swedish meatballs. I'm pretty sure, you know, that was dirty keto, but I don't care. I ate salmon too. And now I'm on a meatball kick. A lot of times when I cook lunch, I cook a lot of whatever I'm cooking so that I can eat it later. However, my lovely husband, most of the time comes in from working outside on the farm and he eats the rest of my food. So I have to make triple what I would normally make. All right, I'm gonna go sit at my desk. Oh, my desk. Have a, have a little update on my office situation. Okay, I'm not gonna show you my desk right now because it's a hot mess, um, but this desk it's really pretty. It's not actually functional. And I have got to stop trying to, I've got to stop prioritizing aesthetics over functionality when it comes to my workspace. So I bought a new desk and I got one that goes up and down. Ken's had two of those. We had one when we lived in Nashville and he has one now that's at our office that we never go to. So I bought me one and it is, it's pretty, but it's mostly functional. And I, because I work from home and because I'm on my computer a lot for emails and working inside our private group, I sit all the freaking time and it's so hot outside because I was hiking and I just can't. It's hot. I, do, I just don't like the heat. Also, I like to make excuses, all right? So whatever. I bought the trend, the treadmill that goes under your desk that everybody has had for like a year. Uh, I don't like jumping on things when people start talking about them. I like to give it time. So I got the treadmill so that I can stand up while I'm doing Zoom calls, meetings, answering emails. At least I can walk and get my 10,000 steps in because to be fair, it's an embarrassingly low amount of steps that I get in in a day. It's depressing. I'm embarrassed about it. This will make you burp also, just, you know, fair warning.
If I was less hungry, I would have heated up the Rayos and like simmered them in it and done it the right way, but I'm starving, so we're just gonna eat it like this and it's gonna be fine. Okay, taste test. My hair, I don't even know. It is what it is. I think I could have done a little bit with some more Rayos and like I said, I should have put them in a pan and whatever. Quick and easy is my little name. <sighs> I take that back. Mm-hmm. Mm That's fine. I'm not complaining. More soft though. Crisp dog treats. Not that you really need the dog treats. You can just give them the human ones. That's what we do when we run out of dog ones. meatballs simmer in the sauce for a while it is only what time is it it's 6 20 right now i'm not hungry yet uh, but i know i will be later so i'm gonna go ahead and let those simmer and then i'll probably eat 8 8 30 which sounds late for maybe some of you but works for me and that's what i'm gonna do but i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog because my kids are coming home and I want to go see how they're doing on the house before they get home. So I hope you enjoyed this, what I eat in a day. If you did, make sure to hit the like button, that little thumb, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Love you, mean it. Bye.